<clears throat> this is a video for the CEO. I was asked today how you can use OpenStreetMap in um, GIS software and how to visualize that. I did a video on that already before, but I'm doing it again because um, I'm going to keep this to the point. So this is Bagio. This is the OpenStreetMap. The thing is, this is just tiles. It's just images, nothing else. It's not, not actually data. Um, but it's actually simple. You have a plugin. You can install the Quick OSM plugin. And you can run that. And here you can do overpass queries. And that's how you get the data. Here I did some presets on that. So if you say, I want all the PNPs in Bakio, you just say run preset. I will do just that. It's now downloading the uh, polygons of the roads. So this is the road network for the PNP. Uh, these little red spots, they are steps and stairs for pedestrians. These are poor boundaries, now the barangay boundaries, now you got the district boundaries, the city boundaries. Then it's doing the labels, the labels hold the names. And these blue spots here are all the police stations, which are currently active, there are a few which are not active yet. They are on the map, but they are under construction. We actually mapped that too as under construction. This is it. And now you got the data, basically. And what you do with QGIS with it here, that, that's up to you, right? So you click right on it, you click properties, and you can give something a label or not. You can give symbols or not. Um, the labels is actually the interesting part because if you, for example, let's say we go here to a police station, this is the tourist police station, right? Um, it shows you tourist police unit, the phone numbers, and then the target uh, tourist police unit. You can actually change that information and these are the labels, this is rule-based labeling and you can actually change what you're seeing here uh, you can also add, uh, oh here it is, you can add a new rule and here this is the interesting part, every single tag which was downloaded is here so address street, address quarter, address postcode, country, city, if it has alternative names, uh, the branch, the opening hours, Facebook uh, link, the official Facebook websites, uh, the contact email, contact mobile number, this public information, so if the public wants to contact them. So all of this information you can uh, select and this list is automatically populated, so if someone adds more information to the OpenStreetMap, then this list is automatically populated where you can select other information which you want to be visualized. But yeah, in, in this case, these are the polygons here. So as you can see, the tile image is like this, it shows you a road, but this is actually the polygon itself. And that's how you can download uh, the OpenStreetMap information. So you can disable the tiles. Now you get just plain info on an uh, empty background, whatever color you choose for the background. Uh, you can use Bing or Google or anything as background. Actually, I never use Google because it's illegal to use. But this way you can uh, visualize the polygons on top of the satellite imagery. Uh, it's the same as any other source. It's really the same, there's no difference. Uh, I'm going to stop here at this point. I'm sure you guys know uh, how QGIS works and I want to keep it under five minutes, the video. So this is it. This is how you can work with it. Just make presets. That's it.